Trevor, you uh, you leave the job as an undefeated coach in home uh, test series. Does that give you as much pleasure as anything you've managed to achieve in uh, your time in the job? Uh, first, I've heard of that. Um, look, obviously, our, our test cricket over um, a few years, we, we, we would have liked to have won more. Um, but, yeah, it's not always possible. We've spoken before about yeah, where this team is yeah, with a group of individuals in it. Um, but I, th you know, I think coming back to win this, win this match in, a, in an Ashes contest, I think, shows the character and, you know, and the skill that these, uh, that, that these players have got. So, you know, I think England are in a good, uh, in a good position going forward. There's some, some good young players sort of stacking up behind the players in the team at the moment, and that's the, the best type of pressure of all is, is from within. It's been such a, a huge summer of cricket, World Cup and then Ashes. With the results that you've got, do you look back at it and think that's pretty much job well done? That's a, a good summer as England could have hoped for. Um, look, I'll I'll look back um, in years to come, I suppose, when you know when I'll be able to look back and sort of say, you know, the game's not as good as it was 30, 40 years ago, like others. Um, <laughs> look, I, I've said it plenty of times before, and. and um, the players are the one that's, that deserve the credit. The, the coaching staff can, you're there to give a little bit of direction and, and give the players help. But um, you know, it's up to the players if uh, if they're not skillful enough to uh, uh, you know to win matches against the opposition, or they're not good, you know, they can't improve. Well, then you're not going to win matches. But these guys, these guys have got it within them, and I think we have seen you know enough of the guys improve even in Test cricket. Um, you know to, to to show you that uh, you know, I think England are in a good place going forward. Trevor, have we uh, seen the last of you in international cricket? Um, I think so. Um, you know, I think uh, well, I said to you guys the other day, I think there's only a, only one job I'd take on in a full-time position now, I think. And that'd be the, well, that'd be the Australian job, but it's in pretty good hands. Um, some good young... You know, I think Justin's doing a, a, a great job with them uh, and some good young coaches uh, coming through the Australian system. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, sitting back and watching how that develops. Uh, Trev, uh, Stuart Broad really stepped up in the absence of Jimmy Anderson. Uh, just a word on his series, and can you see him potentially playing in the next Ashes in Australia? Uh, look, he, from his performance point of view, you're right. I, he, uh, you know, it was, it was a big loss, uh, you know, missing Jimmy, um, and and someone of uh, Stewart's experience. Uh, you know, we didn't have to say anything to him. He he just took on that uh, that extra burden, and um, you know, I think the the proof's in the pudding. You know, he, he with Joffre sort of led the led the attack and took important wickets when we needed needed them, kept the pressure on when we needed to. Um, yeah, so he, look, he deserves um, everything he gets. Sorry, and, he, and I think he will go to the Ashes next, yeah, in two years' time. <laughs> uh, you know better than anyone about the pressures of being a coach. What are your thoughts on having separate coaches for the different forms of cricket? Um, look, it's been tried here before, um, and Ashley Giles was one of those coaches, and it's his decision. Um, it, coming up in the next few months. Um, look, to be honest, I, I don't know which way you go. I, I think at this stage you probably go for the one coach. I think if that happens, what you'll see is uh, maybe the head coach just getting a little bit more time away from the game. Um, you know, we know how tough it is on, on players, but you know, a lot of the, the coaching staff up, upstairs as well, are, uh, you know, they're looking forward to a break as well. Um, I think what that'll do as well is, is you know, we've got three England English coaches at the moment um, as assistant coaches. I think if the head coach, if it's not one of those, um, and it could well be, um, if the head coach has a rest, I think you'll see those assistant coaches uh, have a turn at taking a, you know, a series or a short tour away somewhere. And that'll give, the next time you know, a job comes up uh, as the England head coach, then you've got two or three other guys with that experience and... Um, you know, might be able to choose uh, you know, an English coach. Trevor, you, you, you did briefly coach Australia in an interim capacity in a, in a, in a white ball series a, a few years back. 
There has been some talk about um, Australia maybe needing some more 2020 expertise in their in their program, whether it be selection or coaching or anything like that. Is it, rather than you know you talked about Justin, but is that sort of a role a, a plausible thing for you going forward? Um, look, I, I, I've I've assi I've signed up to do the IPL. Um, look, if there's if there's anything anyone in Australia wants me to uh, get involved in, I'm, I'm more than happy to. Uh, uh, you know, to listen, you know, what they might have in mind. Um, if I get help out, fantastic. If not, I'll enjoy sitting back and, you know, watching uh, the Australian and English boys go around.